Now this is the main train station here in Cologne and it is in this square where hundreds of women said they were sexually harassed on New Year's Eve. Today it is the scene of a large gathering, one of the largest that Cologne sees every year and that is for Carnival. This is the first day of the festivities and it is called Women's Carnival Day. Hello. There are thousands of people on the streets and that is why police have taken some major precautions to ensure the safety of people here. And so they have doubled the number of police who normally would be around for festivities like this. So there are more than 2,000 police on the streets. There are helicopters watching from the sky. Some of the police are wearing body cameras to ensure they record incidents. The other thing that the city has done is set up what they're calling a women's security point away from the partying and from the crowds to ensure that there is a spot for women to go to should they run into trouble. Now what happened on New Year's Eve hasn't just raised issues of security but also questions nationwide about this country's refugee policy because the prosecutor says that the majority of those who have been apprehended as suspects so far are asylum seekers, recent asylum seekers, and that most of them come from North Africa. That of course has now sparked a nationwide debate about how this country should handle the large number of refugees who have come here looking for asylum. Some say that Germany should continue to be welcoming. Others are now calling for a tougher policy, for the border to be shut. And that debate has now reached the Chancellor's office. Nala Yed, CBC News, Cologne.